Well, the big question is, are Credit Karma scores accurate? Let's just have a conversation about Credit Karma here, and I'm going to give you the pros and cons and uh, things that you need to know if you are considering the service. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation, I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka, and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to do a Credit Karma review, and we want to know the uh, exact question, the exact answer to this question. Are Credit Karma scores accurate? First of all, let me give you the overview. So, Credit Karma promises to provide you with your free credit score and a credit report okay for free credit score and credit report for free but how accurate and reliable is this information is credit karma giving you precisely the same information that a lender can access if you are applying for let's say a mortgage or a car loan or a credit card and for that matter is credit karma giving you anything you can't guess you can't get elsewhere right first of all you need to know what credit karma is and what it does and how its vantage score the first from the more familiar FICO score so when we talk about Credit Karma, we speak about Vantage score. We don't talk about the FICO score, okay? So you can see that Credit Karma will give you a free credit score and credit report in exchange for information about your spending habits. It's a give and take. And Credit Karma then charges companies to serve you targeted ads. So this is this is their business model, okay? So the scores and credit information on Credit Karma come from TransUnion and Equifax, two of the three major credit bureaus. So I want you to remember that. The info does not come from Experian. No, with Credit Karma, the info comes from TransUnion and Equifax. And Credit Karma also compiles its own Vantage score based on that information. So your Credit Karma score should be the same or close to your FICO score, which is uh, what any prospective lender will probably check, right? So the range of your credit score on Credit Karma can be bad to excellent. One thing you need to understand here is that the range of the credit score is more important than the precise number, which will vary by source and edge up or down often, okay? And so when we talk about Credit Karma, they are claiming that they have more than 100 million users worldwide, not just in the States, worldwide, okay? And uh, who runs the company, actually? You can see on the screen that uh, this is um, a multinational company that was founded in 2007 by Kenneth Lynn, Ryan Marciano, and Nicole Mustard. So today, Lynn is the CEO Marciano is the CTO, the Chief Technology Officer, and Mustard is the Chief Revenue Officer, the CRO. And uh, in December 2020, that was uh, last year or two years ago, Intuit, the company behind TurboTax, right? They closed the acquisition of Credit Karma in a deal valued at $8.1 billion, including cash and stock. So that's good to know. Let's talk about the Credit Karma score, because this is an important element that we have uh, seen time and again, people asking in the comment section. So is your Credit Karma score accurate? Big decision time. Big decision time. Let me ask you a question. Do you currently uh, have an account with Credit Karma, or do you intend to have an account with them? If uh, those two scenarios, either of those two scenarios applies, applies to you, you need to pay attention to this. According to Credit Karma, the scores and credit report information on Credit Karma comes from TransUnion and Equifax, all right? So what they do is that they basically, they're saying their score is accurate. That's the bottom line. They're saying that their score is, is accurate and that they get the info from uh, TransUnion and Equifax, and they, in turn, compile their own data. They have their own Vantage score, okay? And their Vantage score is kind of similar. It's pretty closely aligned to what they get from uh, Equifax and TransUnion. That's the bottom line here. Now, the question is, Vantage score or FICO score, does it matter? Well, one thing we need to say is that Vantage score is not FICO, right? So, FICO stands for Fair Isaac Corporation. This is the biggest competitor in the business of creating scoring models that are used to rate the creditworthiness of consumers, okay? And to complicate matters, both update their models occasionally, and lenders use 
different versions with slightly different results. In other words, the lending model used, the lending algorithm or the lending score used by Chase may not be the same as the one used by uh, Navy Fed and so on and so forth. Okay. And uh, what is the Vente score? So though the FICO score is arguably the best known credit score out there, many people are not aware that FICO does not actually collect information. FICO is a model used to create a score by looking at your files from three major credit bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and uh, Experian. And Vintage Score follows much the same process, except that its scoring model was actually created by the credit bureaus themselves. Okay, so although Vintage Score is, le is less known to the public, it claims to score 30 million more people than any other model. Okay, and one advantage is that scores people with the, what we love is that the Vintage Score will score people with little credit history, otherwise known as people who have a thin credit file. So if you're young or have recently come to live in the in the US, you're probably new, that could be an important factor. Okay, so this is important. So I want to show you on the screen if you're interested in reading more about this, you can actually go on the Credit Karma website. We're showing this on the screen right now. You can read why your free credit scores from Equifax and TransUnion may be different. Let me give you some extra information about Credit Karma that you need to know about. One thing that's very important to understand is that Credit Karma updates its score once per week, not once a day, because a lot of folks have been asking questions on, in the comment section, well, why is my Vantage score changing every, uh, every day? No, it's not changing every day. You're thinking it's changing. It's not changing. Credit Karma will update your Vantage score once a week. For most people, that's plenty. But if you're planning to apply for credit in the near future, you may need a more timely update. I get that. Okay. One thing I want to say here is that the score range for Credit Karma's credit score it ranges from uh, 300 to 850. Their credit ratings are broken into three types. So we have poor, we have 300 to low 600, fair to good, low 600 to mid 700, and very good and excellent slash exceptional above mid 700. That's what it is, okay? And uh, Credit Karma does not use FICO. I've said that before. And basically, one thing you need to understand here is that is it safe to use Credit Karma? This is a big decision time, big decision time. In other words, do you have to sign up for this? Uh, for this, uh, do you have? Do you need to sign up for this c company at all? Well, big decision time. It really depends on you. Credit Karma. One thing for sure, Credit Karma is safe. Okay, they use a 128-bit encryption, which is considered nearly impossible to crack. So they use that to protect its data transmission. It also vows not to sell your information to third parties. Whether that is true or not, really, I, I don't know, okay? And we have done research about this. We can't prove it for sure. But one thing I want to say here is that Credit Karma is safe and uh, they do not hurt your credit, not at all. Using Credit Karma does not hurt your credit. When you access your information on Credit Karma, it counts as a soft inquiry that is not reported to the credit bureaus. A hard inquiry, such as a lender's credit check when you apply for a loan, is reported, okay? And how many points off is Credit Karma? Well, the only possible answer based on our research is that you have a, a few points, really. A few points, if, if any. And really, this depends on the borrower. So your credit score can vary every time it is calculated, depending on whether the Vintage score or FICO model is used. That we have actually uh, said, said that before. But you also have, sometimes you have uh, changes based on the scoring model used. I've said this before also that every bank, every lending institution has uh, their own scoring model internally. Okay. And um, so at the end of the day, your Vintage score and Euro, your FICO score might be slightly different, but that is okay. I want to actually uh, do a quick compare and contrast here. Let's just do a comparison here. So when we speak about FICO versus Venti score, which is better? It really depends on the situation. Let me break it down for you. Venti score and FICO are both software programs that calculate credit ratings based on consumers spending and payment history. So everybody knows FICO because they are the older and better known model, right? They have been introduced in 1989. That's about 30 years ago. Okay, and uh, Venti score 
was released about 15 years ago in 2006. So this was developed by the three leading consumer credit agencies. So basically Experian and TransUnion and Equifax, they got together and they were like, okay, you know what? We're gonna come up with our own model. That's what happens here, okay? And because uh, FICO and VentiScore are different models, your VentiScore will inevitably be a little different from your FICO score, that's for sure. But one thing for sure is that how off it is, we really, we really, you, you wouldn't see, let me give you an example. Let's say you have a, a FICO of uh, 700. Maybe your Venti score will be 712, 720, or 690. So we're talking about a range of 10 points up or down, okay? So the differences, let me give you the differences. They are minor, but you need to know them. Is it something that, because, because this is something that could affect the next credit card that you might get, the next loan that you will get, the next, um, insurance product that you will get the next um, I don't know like anytime you have a credit transaction coming up depending on uh, which credit score the the lender is checking this could affect your possibilities of being approved right so the differences are relatively minor so Venti score is designed to keep track of new or infrequent credit users so this can be an advantage for young adults or to anyone who's an immigrant right or even to anyone who has for any reason dropped off the consumer radar for a time. So when you apply for a new loan, the lender checks your credit rating. And consumer protection law requires that multiple applications are treated as one query so that you don't get dinged multiple times for comparison shopping. Because the two rivals handle these queries a little differently, Vantage score may ding you a little more than FICO will. So, so it's really important to understand. And both FICO and Vantage score compile a credit score at the moment it is requested. So the FICO system relies on current information as it is reported to, credit, to the credit bureaus. And the Venti score system incorporates information on your spending behavior over the past two years. Very important to remember, past two years. Okay. All right. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. I want to talk to you now. Welcome back, folks, to another uh, section of the Awesome Surdy Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about Credit Karma, and let's talk about Credit Karma revenue. How do they make money? Because this is something that a lot of consumers are interested in. So their business model is not in entirely altruistic, right? This is a for-profit business that just got bought over by Intuit, and it makes money. They make money by giving you a free credit score in exchange for learning more about your spending habits and uh, charging companies to serve you targeted ads that's the bottom line so credit karma will place ads in front of uh, its users hoping that they will respond to them by clicking on them and many of these advertisers are, are lenders and credit karma may earn a fee if you apply through one of its links that's the bottom line one thing you have to understand is that your personal data is very valuable stuff to advertisers and they pay more to target it and if they really have uh, Credit Karma has more than 100 million users, this is a healthy revenue model for Credit Karma. Think about it. And so there are other services Credit Karma offers. Money, money, money. So besides the uh, the targeted ads, they also have uh, they also sell third party services. For example, they have also uh, Credit Karma Tax, where the tax the filing is free, but they collect the info also for other stuff. And one thing you need to understand is that, for example, when you share your personal information with Credit Karma, you can search for personalized offers for a credit card, for example, a car loan, a home loan, and in some cases, a, an insurance policy. And your search will not pop up in your credit report on Credit Karma or else, anywhere else. Okay, a standard section of credit report is inquiries, which actually lists requests for your report from lenders you have applied to for a loan. Okay, so this is something that you need to uh, pay attention to. And uh, it's also very important to understand that when we talk about Credit Karma revenue, you have to think about your personal situation vis-a-vis -vis Credit Karma. Basically, you're giving them free info. This is your, your personal data. And they're serving you ads. Okay, are you coming out of uh, this equation as a winner? What is the value add for you? In other words, is it something that really uh, is good for your situation? It really depends on your situation, right? Not everybody will, will feel comfortable 
checking their not everybody will feel comfortable actually having their products or their their, their um, data being sold to a third party as a matter of fact you have a lot of companies that offer free credit score uh, monitoring for example you have chase you have credit wise you have discover you have um capital one credit wise so you have a lot of services that basically are all free okay <music> Let's talk about the limitations. I've been talking to you about everything about credit card amount. This is kind of cool. WWW. Okay. Hmm. Well, there are a few things that you gotta be very care about. You have to be careful about. Remember that the the first question is whether you need credit karma service, whatever offers they have, free or not. And they that actually may depend on how urgently you need detailed information on your credit status. Remember that you always have a legal right to a copy of your credit score and credit report from each of the three credit bureaus once every 12 months, right? You have to go to a website called annualcreditreport.com and you just enter your info and then you, you get you get all the, all the information you need, all right? Many banks and lenders offer account holders on-demand access to, to their credit score. I just talked about that. American Express does it. Okay, American Express, for example, they have uh, a service whereby you can view your FICO score and your FICO history. With American Express, is the FICO score and the FICO history, all right? And um, one thing you need to understand: credit cards. Are you in the market right now for a credit card? Are you willing? To, are you uh, going to apply for a credit card? And if that's the case, you want to know exactly which score your credit card issuer is going to pull. Because you know that we have said this before, your FICO score may differ from your Venti score, your Credit Karma score. Okay, so one thing you need to also understand is that your Credit Karma score may be insufficient. This is another limitation here because Credit Karma updates its scores once per week. For most people, that's plenty. But if you are planning to apply for a credit card in the near future, you want to have a more timely update, right? And uh, although Venti score's system is accurate, it is not the industry standard. So this is something you need to think about it. And uh, Credit Karma may encourage borrowing. I mean, they're not pushing you to borrow, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying here that Credit Karma is actually encouraging people to borrow. But the thing here is that it is just uh, tempting. It is it is uh, their business model is to earn advertising revenue and commissions from loans you get through the site. Right. Although the site position itself as a trusted advisor. It is motivated to sign you up for new loans. That's the bottom line. It's all about money, money, money. Let's, let's just keep it real here. So you want to use Credit Karma to monitor your score and not to get advice on whether you should take on new debt. So this is totally up to you. This is totally up to you. The uh, Credit Karma will never charge you any fees. You can apply for loans through the site and the company will collect a fee if you do, but they will never push you to uh, get a loan. It's totally up to you. So at the end of the day, one thing I want to say here is that you control your financial picture. You control your financial situation. Use the service to check your credit score. That's it. And make your decisions about lo new loans or credit cards based on your needs and based on your credit utilization ratio. And even your DTI, your debt to income ratio, not based on recommendations from Credit Karma. Not at all. They have a vested interest in making money. And this may be actually uh, opposite dichotomous to your interest as a borrower let me quickly talk to you about alternatives before we close and we actually uh, close today's conversation so when we talk about credit karma we are speaking about a free service a free FICO service or a free venti score service provider right there are other providers besides credit karma so we have for example credit sesame this is another credit monitoring service that is slightly different from credit karma and uh, they will give you access to uh, their Venti score directly from TransUnion. It also provides personalized tips based on your credit profile and goals. And finally, it gathers all of your credit information and makes money saving suggestions. Okay. We also have credit.com. This site is pretty good for monthly updates. Okay. You can actually get two free credit scores and reports by registering on credit.com. And this is an experienced report and your Venti score 3.0 which is updated once per month. 
and you have to sign up for a free account, but you will not be required to put it to put in a credit card number to register. You also have Wallet Hub, and uh, if you're looking for a credit card alerts or credit alerts in general, this is a great site. The site will give you a free credit reports from TransUnion and the TransUnion Vintage Score. So to register, you will need to provide your personal details and the last four digits of your social security number, and you have to answer a few questions to verify your identity. So they take things a little more seriously. And uh, this platform also asks other questions such as your annual income, monthly expenses, and credit card debt to complete the registration, okay? And uh, you can also uh, get free credit scores from credit card companies. Yeah, Discover Card, I, I just spoke about that. So we have Discover Card uh, customers receive their free TransUnion FICO credit score on each monthly statement. Card holders who are still establishing their credit history may not see a credit score until they've made several months of payments. And uh, you also have Capital One Card, okay? They do have a service called Credit Wise Service, and uh, this is available to anyone, whether you are a card holder or not. And through this service, you can get access to your Vintage Score 3.0 every month and be alerted to any changes. So this is really cool. This is really cool. And one of the key features of this service is its simulator, which is, allows you to see the factors that will affect your score and overall credit health and by how much. Okay, let me give you an example. You can see how much of an impact a 1500 or 2000 purchase on a credit card or taking out a 10,000 or 20,000 loan will make on your credit score. All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. We are actually uh, reviewing a Credit Karma today, and this is something that I want to say that millions of people use Credit Karma to track their credit scores. The company is highly transparent, and they do provide its, they do provide their services through Vantage Score. So it, has, it offers a reliable snapshot of your current credit status, okay? The scores are updated only weekly, but that's enough for most people most of the time. So after uh, reviewing everything here, we have scored Credit Karma 9.5 over 10. So I want to quickly recap by saying that we actually uh, talk about, i give you an overview, the Credit Karma scores, the extra info, the comparison between FICO and Vantage Score, the Credit Karma revenue model, okay, the limitations of uh, Credit Karma, and the alternatives. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.